To celebrate the white fennec coming back into the item shop, I'm going to be giving one away to one of you. To enter, just subscribe, like the video and comment down below with your platform and gamer tag. The more videos you do this on, the more entries you'll have. I'll announce the winner at 8k subs. Good luck. Hi guys, Mulchmite128 here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to get a black car on Rocket League. But first, thanks to RL Exchange for sponsoring this Rocket League video. RL Exchange is a secure site for buying Rocket League items, credits and bundles on all platforms for amazing prices. The site has a wide catalogue of items and amazingly fast delivery. And make sure to use code MULCH for a discount on your order. I have made this video before, it's actually the most popular video on my channel. Um, but the reason I'm doing an updated version is because Rocket League obviously just constantly adding new decals, new paint finishes and all these new methods that you can do to get yourself a black car. But we're going to start off with quite an old one. Um, this is also my least favourite method and that is through these esports decals. So if you've never bought an esports decal before, all you've got to do is go to the item shop and then go right to the end towards esports. Now a lot of these are white or black, so if you want a white car this method will also uh, work for you. One of my favourite ones is this new one here, this Team Furia. Uh, they've got this really cool like Octane and I think the Dominus one is quite cool. Um, but the ones that I use are, if we go over here, we've got the these two here. So we've got the NRG for the Octane and the Dominus. These are the old RLCS ones. I don't believe you can actually get these two in particular anymore, but you may have them. But I think this looks quite good. I mean, it covers your car really well. Apart from like the, the little pattern and the NRG logo, of course, this is pretty much black. So I think this looks really good, but the reason it's my least favorite method is because to buy esports decals, you need esports tokens. So for example, if I wanted this G2 Dominus, then I'd have to have 300 esports tokens and you can't trade for these or earn these the only way you can get them is by buying them you'd have to buy like one of these or three of these just to get this decal and I personally don't think it's worth it for most of these but they've all got quite like nice patterns on them and stuff they're not just gonna be fully black but if you are looking for a black car this is a good method I'd recommend this more to somebody though who's like a fan of Rocket League esports I personally don't watch it that much but if you guys are a fan comment your favorite team down below I'll be interested to see that also you can pick up your favorite team's decal that will be used by all the pro players in tournaments but because you have to use esports tokens I'm not a big fan but let's move on to the next method here which are decals that aren't esports decals starting off here with one of my favorite ones the fancy formal I mean if we look at the car from like back here that I mean that is a black car um, obviously I've got the white octane here but if you were to ignore that and had a black octane or whatever. The only thing I wish you could do is change the paint finish to make it matte instead of it being like this glossy finish. But apart from that, this is literally a black car. Now I believe you can get fancy formal on the octane, fennec, and on the Dominus, I believe. But if you'd like to get it, you can't get it on the octane at the moment. But if you want it on the fennec, you're in luck. Go in the item shop right now. And if you go right here, because this is Rocket League's birthday, you've got an hour to get it at the moment. So it won't be out once this video is out, unfortunately. But I'm sure they'll be releasing this again in the future. So just make sure you're checking the item shop. If you don't want to have to check the item shop all the time, by the way, uh, join my Discord server. It's in the description. And in there, we've got the live item shop updates. But here it is here. I can't remember how much this was, actually. But I know the Octane was 50. I think that one might have been 100. Uh, but this one is one of the best like fully coverage cars. I mean from the back like if you play Rocket League like, in a game You'll see like the back car here and it's practically black and then the next decals are all very like similar We got this distortion one here. I mean this one looks very black if you just maybe like squint your eyes a bit as long as you don't see like the the blue dots, that's all this deco is, is the blue dots. Um, you've got a little sneak peek there at the next one. Uh, but this is it, so I think it looks better on the blue. But if you put like a dark colour here, I don't know which one you'd use. I'd probably go for like maybe this or this. But on the blue, it definitely looks much darker here. If you're moving around in game and you're going quite fast, you won't see these dots and your car looks basically black. And one of the reasons I really like this decal is because it's got more of a matte finish than the fancy formal. It's much more glossy and stuff. So I think this one looks much nicer. Then a very similar decal, as you can see, we've got the dot matrix. I think it's a little bit more prominent because it's got like the, the waves of blue that are a little bit thicker than just these like distortions, I guess. So this one, I don't know. I think I would definitely prefer the distortion, but maybe you're more of a fan of the dot matrix because... 
I think it's like a little bit, I guess you could say cleaner. It's got a bit more of like a, a shine as well with the waves. So again, pick whichever one you like the most. I personally would lean more towards this one. Maybe if you want more of a cleaner design, dot matrix would be for you. So we've got the Octane Huntress here, and when you're setting up your Huntress, you want to make sure that your secondary colour is not a bright colour. You want to put it all the way down here to black, and it is literally all black. All it adds is like this like kind of 3D lines around the edges of your car. We compare it to like this one here with the Octane Dot Matrix and Distortion. It's more of like a really, really dark grey, whereas this is literally like a pitch black. A little bit purpley, but I think that's just the stadium lights here. So the Huntress would definitely be my pick. So I think it's a good balance of being quite clean and having the black car. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now this one isn't as black. This is the encryption. The reason I've included this though is because I know a lot of people want to use this purely because of the fact they want to have a black market on their car. You know, a lot of people want to, I don't know, I guess like show off to show that they've got a black market. So having a black market like this, it's very nearly black. You can also use Stipplegate. I don't have it at the moment, but I'll put that on screen now as well. I think Stipplegate is definitely a bit more black if you put some dark colours here. Uh, but I've just got Encryption on my Octane right here. Stipplegate, I believe it was more expensive than Encryption. Uh, Encryption is a bit newer than Stipplegate here. Uh, but again, same with all of these decals I've been showing you here. The darkest blue or the darkest red and then with the black for your accent is your best bet making it look like a very dark car. Today was some of my favourite decals for the black car. You can also use Stipplegate like I mentioned and Block Party, what you can't get anymore. But decals aren't the only method. One of my other favourite methods is through paint finishes. So uh, this is actually quite a common method that people used to use before we got all of these black decals. But if you use, I believe it's Monster Cat was one of the more popular ones because it covers a lot. If we set this to black, it makes most of our car black already. And then if we set this to like the darkest blue like that, then we can change the paint finishes here. So I believe Sun Damaged was one of the most popular ones. Yeah, as you can see. So Sun Damage makes this very dark. So Sun Damage is definitely the darkest. Probably want to change this from Glossy as well to make it fit in a bit more. I don't know which one you'd want to use. Maybe, maybe just matte. Um, so again, this one doesn't cover as much. But this is, I believe this is a free method. I think everyone, you should have Monster Cat. And I believe you should have Sun Damage. I don't know how it works with people that got it on free to play. But if you bought Rocket League, you should have all of these items straight away in your account. And you can make this car right now. But obviously, the issue with all of these decals is they're like as close to black as you can get with a decal. But they're not fully black. If you want your car to be absolutely black, you've got to use one of these methods. The first one is being through your team clan colours. So if you go to your profile and go to your club, um, you can change your club colours here. Make sure you've obviously got a club first. Uh, my one is set to white here, but if I set them to black, um, I've got a decal on, obviously, so this might change it. I'd recommend using a, a decal with a matte, maybe no decal, just a matte paint finish. Um, ignore, you can see like the bits of blue and stuff, that's just the stadium lights. But as you can see, my car is fully black here. So I've just changed and I've got rid of the decal here, and as you can see, my car is completely black. You can use this method to get whatever car colour you want. Obviously, I'm assuming you're going to want either white or black, probably. But this is one way to get a fully black car. The only downside to this method is it only works in clan games. That's not like a game mode or anything if you haven't done this before. It just means when you load into a game as a clan, so let's say you're playing a game of twos, and you're in a game with your friend who's also in your clan, you'll be put up against another clan, and it's kind of called a clan game. And then you get to use these clan colours and the other team get to use whatever their clan colours are. But maybe you don't want this to just work in clan games. So then you can go over here to play and go into tournaments. Now there's no active tournaments as I'm recording this. But if you've never done a tournament before, you can actually set tournament colours. Very similar to clan colours. Just set your tournament team colours to black and black. And it does the exact same thing but in tournament. So that's how you can get a fully black car in tournaments and clan games. And then the decals and paint finishes will work in any game at all. So those are all of the methods that will work on every platform. Now there are two more methods that I want to show off. These will be PC only though. That's the only downside to these next two. These two methods are by far the best method. They are both free and you can get a fully black car in every single game that you want. Okay, and we're on PC and now the first PC only method, I'm sure everybody will know this, it is Backers Mod. Here it is, the best, the best thing in Rocket League, let's be honest, everybody loves Backers Mod. Now let me turn on my cursor right here so you can see exactly where I'm clicking. Um, now I don't know why it's glitching. 
Um, okay, uh, there we go. It's moving around a bit here. If we go over to items, we can enable item mods. And I don't know what that's changed in my car. Uh, but you want to tick this little thing here. It says override car colors. And we're going to go down and change our primary to black. And we're going to go on our secondary. And we're going to change that to black. Black is mods glitching a bit. It's moving my camera as well as my thing. There we go. Okay, we fixed it. And as you can see right here, my car is black. Now again, let's create a new preset really quick uh, so that we can just, uh, let's go with a, I don't know, let's just put breakouts and let's take off a decal. So as you can see, um, we've got the back as more decal on, hang on. Uh, so we've got to take off this decal here on back as mod as well. But I mean, my car is black and this works in games as well. This works in everything. Just to show this off, we're going to go and train in. Let's go into some pre-play. Uh, pre let's go into some free play real quick. And as you can see, I have a black breakout. If you ever wanted a black breakout, here you go. And of course, this doesn't have to be a breakout. This works for every car in every game mode. Now, with back as mod, I feel like every feature here, every every way to get a black car has a downside. And the one with back as mod is that only you can see it. So you guys can see it because obviously I'm recording this on my screen. But if I invited someone to my party or someone else is in my game, for them, I would have as if I didn't have back as mod. So if I turned this off. This is what everyone else would see. They would see this breakout right here, but I would see this black breakout. So that's the only downside to using backers mod. But that is not the only method on PC. There is one more, and this is another one here. And this is if you go over to plugins, and this is through Alpha Console. If you don't know how to download plugins, or if you don't know how to download backers mod, by the way, go on my channel. I'll try and link those videos down in the description. Um, but you want to toggle the Alpha Console menu. Now, mine is not updated, so what I'll do is I'll just show you a clip from a previous video I've done on how to do this. But you can actually just do a custom decal on Alpha Console, and you can make your own decal black. Now, again, with backers mod, only you can see it. But the upside with this version is you can basically create your own decal. So if you just want to make it fully black, you can. You could also add your own logo in it or whatever. So again, I'll put a clip on how you can do this on screen. Check out the full video in the description or go onto my channel if you want to see that. But yeah, those are the two PC methods. I think they look much better than the methods that are for every platform. But the only downside is only you can see these. But I don't know, maybe you would actually could combine them a little bit. So like if we were to go back to, for example, the distortion. Now I've got black on the distortion here. Um, if I go here and I go to my decal and I get rid of the decal, so I will see this black car here, then everyone else will see this distortion. So, you know, you can kind of combine them so that people kind of see the black car. And I think that looks pretty good, actually. I actually kind of like this distortion with the, it's kind of black, but you can see the black, I don't know. Maybe like the black on black decals looks really nice. So test them out. Obviously, if you get any nice designs or any things that I've missed, please comment it down below. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.